Well, while the flowers in our butterfly garden are quite beautiful, they've actually been planted with butterflies in mind, and specifically as a food source for both the butterflies and for the larvae. Well, speaking of the larvae, that is one of the hardest things about gardening for butterflies, is finding out which larvae go to which butterfly, and also what food they like to eat. And we've got two examples for you today to show you. And first off, we have here an eastern black swallowtail larva, and as you'll notice, it's here on our fennel plant. Now these larvae like plants in that family, like fennel, dill, and parsley, and they're actually quite ravenous and can actually defoliate your entire plant. And that's why we've got these planted here in our butterfly garden specifically for them. Now you'll notice this guy kind of almost got a zebra look to him, and he's got black and a greenish stripe on him, and then he's got the yellow dots. And these will actually molt several times, and they will grow, and they'll actually reach about two inches in length. They'll be quite large before they go into a chrysalis and then into a butterfly. We've got another larva here, and he's a very scary looking creature, and that is the larva of the Gulf Fritillary. Now, it actually likes to eat the passion flower, which is why we have the passion flowers here. And I'll show you right up here, we've got one. And if I turn him over, he's a very striking creature. It's kind of orange, reddish orange, and then has the black spines on him. And he's got a couple of horns here in the front. And we're just now starting to see these guys. They've been laying eggs, and we're starting to see the caterpillars here on our passionflower vine. Now, the actual butterflies will be hovering over, say, wildflowers or other things like that. But the caterpillars, you'll only find on this. Now, to make this easier for you, there's a field guide that works quite well to identify both the butterflies, the caterpillars, and the food that the caterpillars like to eat. And that's the Peterson Field Guide for Caterpillars. And this, if you've ever seen Peterson Field Guides, they're very good books. And this is actually a simplified version that has the butterflies and caterpillars you're most likely to see here. Now inside, here we've got our black swallowtail. It has a drawing of both the caterpillar, the butterfly, and the chrysalis. And then it'll tell you the food that they like to eat and where they can be found and also their life cycle. So this is a very handy book if you're just getting in to butterfly gardening. Now you can go and find these at your local bookstore and if they don't have them they can order for you, order them for you very easily and all you need to do is give them the title and the ISBN number and the ISBN number for this book is 0395564995 nine and they'll be able to order that for you and this will greatly help your enjoyment and your success in butterfly gardening. Well in addition to gardening for butterflies we've also been growing a lot of vegetables and it's time to harvest some so let's go do that. We hope you enjoyed this video it's part of our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. You can also find more recent videos on our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel and join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.